protected eyes. Now that the summer days are here, we need to beseech the Ribbon Shalom for help with guarding our eyes. We need to ask Hashem that we should have pure eyes, because when we guard our eyes, we can become very great tzaddikim. Kindelach, who would like to hear a story of how strongly we need to protect and guard our eyes? Reb Matisio was a Bresla Bechosit who lived in Uman. Reb Matisio studied Torah all day and night in the Beis Medrash. Reb Matisio's family felt that it was time for him to look for work. His father-in-law began pressuring him to find a job. But Reb Matisio sat in shul and learned Torah. We must send him to work, the father-in-law said to Reb Matisio's wife. What point is there in him sitting and learning all day? But Reb Matisio's only desire was to learn the Holy Torah all day and night. His family tried talking to him and pressuring him to take a job to no avail. Reb Matisio's father-in-law thought of a plan. One day, Reb Matisio's father-in-law said to him, I bought a grocery store for you. Please begin working in the store and bring home money for your family. Reb Matisio felt he had no choice. He went to the store the next morning. He secretly tucked the Gemore under his arm so that he could continue learning Torah while working in the store. Reb Matisio went to stand behind the counter. He opened his Gemore and began learning. Each time someone came to buy something in the store, he closed the Gemore to help the customer. As soon as the customer left, he continued learning in a sweet negin. Every time a woman entered the store, Reb Matisio turned his face to the wall and told her, take whatever you'd like and place the money on the counter. He would not turn around until he heard that the lady had left the store. One time he thought that he heard a woman enter the store. He turned his face to the wall. He didn't want to look at an unfamiliar woman. He waited for the woman to finish gathering her items, pay and leave the store. He waited and waited while he heard someone searching the store and puttering with items. He didn't hear the woman speak, put any items on the counter or ask him for a price. He did not want to turn around. He wanted to keep his eyes pure. Suddenly, Reb Matisio's wife walked in and started shouting, Matisio, what's wrong with you? Kids, do you know what happened? Reb Matisio thought that the woman had entered the store, but in fact it was not a person at all. A goat had entered the store and began eating the fresh food without being bothered by anyone. Reb Matisio had his face to the wall and the goat munched and crunched happily. When Reb Matisio's wife and father-in-law saw this, they realized that the grocery store was not the right place for Reb Matisio. They saw what an early chayid Reb Matisio was and they sent him back to the Besmerdash to continue learning Torah Bas Moda. Dear children, let us learn from Reb Matisio. Let us guard our eyes. Let us avoid looking at unfamiliar women. Let us keep our eyes downward when we are not out in the street. Let us make our eyes pure by looking into the Holy Chumash, Mishnais and Gemorrah. We will then merit becoming truly great tzaddikim. <laughs> Hobbly, you don't tie the tie, 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 the